What up guys, So Slow here, and this is Fire 4 Effect, episode 44, where I bring you all of today's news and information for World of Tanks and other Wargaming titles. Got some stuff to get through, so let's get into it. First up, predict the Super Bowl and you can win some camos. Um, basically, you go and put in a code for if you think the Rams are going to win or you think the Patriots are going to win, and when you put in the code, you get access to the Tier 8 US Heavy Tank T26E5, a rental. And if you're right, you get to get, if you're right, if you pick the correct Super Bowl winning team, you'll get the uh, football, the football style uh, camo for free. So link is in the description below. Go put the code in and try and win stuff. Next up, lots of talk about the concurrent rendering support uh, for the multi-core stuff coming in 1.4. Um, read through the article, seems pretty interesting. Uh, this is, they actually have these animated, so you should go and look at it so you can actually look at the pretty animations. Uh, this is how currently it works because the lion's share of computers that were played Watt were all single and dual core machines. Um, so basically they'd load one core and just let the other stuff handle the other. GPU would be doing a lot. Uh, with the 1.4 multi-core support, they are spreading that across. There's some technical whiz-bang stuff that they do put into the article I'm not going to get into here. If you want to know about that, read it on your own and by clicking the link in the description below. And then um, kind of the, the result of it, they do have a nice little FAQ in there too. Uh, basically it breaks down that if you have an older machine, you're not going to see that great of performance boot. If you're using, for example, a uh, AMD Athlon, you know, two core, or four core, two core, 2000 GE with a Vega 3 and some RAM on minimums, you're not going to see much. Um, it's, it's just not going to help you any. However, uh, once we start updating to say an i3 6100, which is, uh, you know, pretty recent chip, being that the 9 series is the latest, uh, the 6 series is only 3 series ago for the i, I series uh, Intel chips with a 1066 gig and now you're seeing a lot higher uh, boost in these frame rates coming across from 1.3 to 1.4, almost uh, 30 more frames uh, per, uh, per second. So where the real bread and butter is though is when you start getting into higher, newer CPUs and more powerful graphics cards. So in this example, they have an i7-3770, that's a 3 series i, I chip, um, Intel chip. So that is, I think, 6 years old, 5 years old, something. It's, it's a pretty old chip, considering the current crop is the 7700s, the 8700s, and the 9700s. So this is, this is a core that will be in a lot of computers, a lot of older computers still, uh, multi-core, and it's got a 1070 Ti and you can see the, the, the boost in frames from 88 to over 140. Um, I tried to capture, you know, kind of the, the biggest swing. It's definitely not the highest that I saw on their little, their little video that's playing on the website. So for, uh, for newer, bigger machines, I think most people on NA are gonna see a pretty hefty um, result from 1.4 when it comes out with the multi-core stuff. So link in the description below. I highly suggest you go out and read it and check out some of the videos and stuff. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. And then on track for the first two weeks of February is gonna be the STB-1, Japanese medium tank. And as always, they have the little missions that go with it. So basically you can grind from tier one to tier 10 if you don't have it, and you're gonna be able to help. Uh, it's gonna help you along. You get discounted uh, prices off the tanks from tier one through five at 30%, I believe. Um, and then, or 50% and then 30% through 6 through 10 or something like that, I don't know exactly. But uh, for doing the missions every 25,000 XP you get reward stuff and then for every time you do that, uh, up to 10 times you get individual more extra stuff. And uh, on the 10th one you get a, a, a reward like a premium tier 2 light tank or the gold or credit equivalent if you have it. And, stuff, things. So if you are thinking about going up the Japanese light time, now would be the time to do it. And it's pretty good because it's also uh, kind of coincides with this week's um, um, sh 
showdown Saturday, being a, to the tier five uh, medium uh, from the Japanese line, the on, o, Oki, Okai, something like that. I don't know, we'll see it later. Link is in the description below. And an empty slide. Uh, World of Tanks EU, they got the WZ121G FT uh, on sale. The bundle for uh, 4154 US gets you the tank, 30 days of premium, and then the 15 missions, plus three other items. I didn't actually open it to look, uh, I just grabbed the price. Um, they have a bunch of other stuff, you know, the usual like 15,000 gold and 15 million credits for $111 or whatever it is. Uh, you can click the link in the description below and check those out if you're interested. Um, watch Showdown Saturday. So yeah, the Type 4 Cheeto Tier 5, I believe. Um, beat their base XP and you get yourself some free stuff. Pretty cool thing. And then over on Status Report, uh, World of Warships 0.8.0 has dropped and everybody's playing carriers because of the new carrier mechanic. So if you are interested in checking this out, I would look for all the social, all the, uh, I know Wargaming was playing their World of Warships channel. Uh, Feminality was playing today, showing off the carrier stuff. I'm sure all the community contributors and lots of streamers are going to be playing the carriers. It's probably going to be carrier spam for about the next two weeks. So I won't be playing Warships for the next two weeks. <laughs> Maybe after that I might fire it up and check it out. But uh, yeah, so if you're interested in that, you can head over to the status report and read up on it. Um, they also have uh, released some new super test information. So the Ger Germans have a tier eight light tank that's on super test right now, the Hawk 30 or HWK 30, I guess, whichever you want to say. Um, and also they have a Chinese tier eight light tank, the M41D, uh, both in super test. So if you're interested in those stats, um, these were put out last year sometime, hadn't seen anything about them. And this is uh, actually like the, a pretty good chunk of time that we haven't seen a Russian tank come out on super test. So hooray for that, I guess. I don't know, maybe. Anyways, links are in the description below. You can check those out. And that's it guys. Ominous Vixen's Selfless Samaritan Replay Contest. 4K gold could be yours for being a nice guy in World of Tanks or gal. Uh, I'm giving away stuff at the end of my stream every day. Every time I stream, I shouldn't say every day. And then uh, Wargaming uh, has their From the Forge Contest where they will reward you if you were chosen for sending in pictures of your cool stuff that you make for, War for World of Tanks. So a meatloaf KV-2 or a matchstick IS-3, you know, uh, draw a scene, make a diorama, click a picture, send it in. You can win things. Fire for Effect, guys, January 30. Thanks for watching. Please share, like, subscribe with a big emphasis on share. We've got 105 subs right now. We're going for 150, and I can only do it. Unless, I can't do it without you guys. You are the whole reason that this channel exists. So please share it with your friends, scream it from the top of the mountains, uh, retweet it on Twitter if you see it, or uh, out on the forums, or whatever. Just get it out there. Spam it in your clan chat. I don't know. <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. As always, be excellent to each other, and may RNG forever be in your favor.